Hi, this is Wes Griffith, product specialist with Collier RV in Rockford, Illinois. Today we're going to take a look at kind of an interesting small class C, the Freelander 22XG by Coachman RV. I'm going to give you a couple things that I, that I really love about it, uh, both on the outside, um, some of the equipment, um, and on the inside, and, and it has one really big thing that I absolutely love. So we're definitely going to take a look at that and, and talk about it a little bit today. Um, first things first, uh, you'll, you've probably already noticed this is a Chevy chassis. Um, this is a Chevy 3500 HD chassis. The vast majority of Class C's out there are on a Ford chassis, and there's a, there's a couple of reasons why uh, we'd like to have a few of these Chevy chassis uh, in stock. First of all, there are some bow tie guys out there that, that just love Chevy uh, and gals. Um, but there are uh, some other reasons too. Um, the Chevy chassis, uh, it's a 6.6 liter V8, a um, little over 400 horsepower, so it is more powerful than the Ford uh, version. And when we get inside, uh, I will show you another thing that I really love about the, the Chevy chassis in particular. Uh, me being six feet tall, um, the seat, there's actually a little bit more room in the cab than, than in the Ford. So if you are taller, you got bad knees, um, you know, this, this may be the answer for you. We'll take a, a quick walk around uh, outside uh, and then we'll take a look at a few of the features inside. Um, front, you do have automatic headlights. Uh, big uh, mirrors uh, let you see very well. Huge awning, about as big as they could put on this unit, that's for sure. This is going to be your propane fill underneath here. They'll all have it somewhere, and that one happens to be right there. And you got your water heater and your furnace. Um, being a Coachman product, um, this is not Luon behind this. This fiberglass is not bonded to wood. Um, it's bonded to Asdale. This is an Asdale sidewall. Um, so um, lighter, stronger, quieter. Uh, it has really good sound dampening. Um, and it, it's a man-made product, so it won't uh, absorb moisture. Uh, so you don't have the problems down the road with delamination, mold, mildew, uh, stuff like that. Uh, great feature, love it. Uh, outside TV, outside power. You wanna bring a little grill or something with you. Uh, put it out here underneath the awning. You do have a propane quick disconnect, so you don't have to bring any extra propane with you. Uh, we're gonna skip over the back for just a second. We're gonna take a look at the other side first. Love the graphics on this unit. You know, again, those more modern whites and grays and blacks, and they add a little blue accent in, which happens to be my favorite color. Um, so, you know, very nice. Looks good going down the road. Big storage bay. This is all heavy duty plastic inside here. There's actually a, a drain plug. If you get anything, you know, throw wet gear and stuff in there so it can drain out, not gonna get all nasty on you. Obviously your sewer outlet. This is where you put the gas. Pretty self-explanatory there. Um, detachable shore power cord. Outside shower with hot and cold water. This, this is just a, a little feature, something that they didn't really have to do. Um, this is actually the back, the, the working uh, parts of your refrigerator. So they, they just put a little door in here so that it's, it's easy to get to if, if anything ever should go wrong with it. And of course you should keep it clean. Uh, and then we have our water input. So you have black tank flush on the top. Uh, clean out your black tank, right? You just uh, screw in a, a regular hose in there and that will wash out your black tank. That's where the toilet goes. So it's a good, good idea to keep it nice and clean. Um, and then you will have a uh, fresh tank fill. So your onboard tank and then water bypass. So this is if you're at a campsite that has water available, that's where you'd hook that up. Um, and then cable input. Right, so you got cable outputs inside and outside. You need a place to bring it into the camper. Um, and then in here, 
will be your Cummins Onan, four, should be a 4,000, yeah, it is a 4,000. Uh, 4,000 series gas powered generator. So this will sip gas out of your main tank. Uh, so no additional things to worry about. Um, it just works. And that will power everything in this coach all at the same time. Um, and they are nice and quiet too. Love those Cummins Onan generators. All right, now let's go to the back. Fully walkable roof, uh, which is why they put a ladder on it. Like most of the modern units now, if you guys have watched a couple of my videos, I, I point this all out all the time. To, to me, it's really cool, but it, it's kind of commonplace nowadays, but nevertheless, I think it's cool. So all LED lights uh, inside and out. So no problems with the filaments and incandescent bulbs burning out all the time on you. They basically last forever. Um, and then you have this. So this is the, uh, the kind of the trick of this unit, the special thing about it, um, really. Um, so it has a big rear door. And inside this rear door, and we'll go inside it and take a look at the bed, which happens to be a Murphy bed that you can flip up, uh, full size, 60 by 80 queen. Uh, but you can see our, our little mascot here. Um, there are tie downs on the floor. Uh, and of course you can put a ramp up on here. Uh, it's got a metal threshold. Um, the door is extra wide to accommodate things like, um, you know, big bicycles, um, scooters, especially like these uh, electric bikes and electric scooters that people like bringing with them nowadays to the campgrounds. I, I, I would say motorcycle, but a small motorcycle, right? We're, we're not going to pull a, a Harley full bagger in, into this. Um, you know, but if you have like a little, uh, you know, Honda 250 or, or something like that, that you, that you like uh, zipping around on, you can certainly do that. And that's kind of what the tie downs are for. The other thing that um, I've, I've talked with a couple of customers about this in, in, in uh, the most recent one of these that, that I personally sold, um, one of the customers uh, was bound to a wheelchair. Um, so they really wanted to do some traveling and stuff. And, and it was kind of hard to find a unit because uh, the, the wheelchair was wider than, than a standard door. Um, so this kind of solved that problem. Um, they got a little ramp made um, and she can wheel herself uh, in and out of here and you know, take part in their, in their family travels and you know, doesn't have to be carried inside anymore and stuff. So they, they absolutely love it. Uh, so I thought that that was really cool. Uh, those, they, they were fun customers to work with. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, and take a walk inside. This is just kind of like a, a camper quick take, right? Uh, get you a little bit familiar with the unit. Um, you're gonna have a nice high quality door uh, with a window in it, a screen door. They kind of all have that. Metal steps on your way in. Um, so not plastic steps, which I absolutely love. And of course your, uh, your main controls are gonna be just inside the door, uh, like they usually are on things, uh, along with a battery disconnect. Um, and your fuse panel, uh, which is uh, thoroughly modern. That's the newest model. It automatically detects if you put lithium batteries in here so you don't have to worry about anything. There are a few things inside that I want to talk about too. And I, and I mentioned Chevy, right? So this has a huge 95 inch wide, I believe it's 57 or 58 uh, inches deep uh, additional bed uh, that comes with it. And of course the the TV, like on most of these Class C, swings out from the wall and, and you can lock it in wherever you want. But there are a couple of things that are kind of specific. And I like driving with this out of the way. Gives you a nice open, airy feel um, to the uh, Coachman uh, Freelander brand um, and to the Chevy chassis. So you, Coachman loves putting these little racks just above the door. Um, you know, throw your phone, tablet, uh, you, whatever, uh, you know, that, that's why they give you a couple of USB uh, outlets right there so you can plug your phone in, leave it right by the door so you don't forget it. Um, and if you actually stand your phone, whether it be an iPhone or an Android device, if you stand it up, it just sticks up a couple inches from here so you kind of can't miss it when you're, when you're leaving, which is nice. Um, in the front cab, there are a few things that are a little bit different about this. Um, this table here, by the way, uh, is something that they, they send with the unit. 
So it gives you a little more space, a couple of cup holders, and a little place that actually fits a modern smartphone perfectly, uh, which is kind of cool. But this just very easily comes out. Um, and then of course, you know, you can fold it up, put it away, whatever you want to do. There's three cup holders, two big, one small, up in the front. And this actually sits in the middle small cup holder to hold it. And there's some felt uh, around the side, so it kind of holds it in place. Uh, love that, great idea. Um, you know, it's one of those things that I wish more of the manufacturers would, would, would uh, think of stuff like this because it's kind of fantastic and, and sets it apart. Okay, so Chevy chassis, right? Um, first things first. I, I don't, you know, I, I mean, of course I do this for a living, so I've been in hundreds of units. Uh, again, six feet tall, uh, not a small guy, uh, you know, not a linebacker, but I'm not a small guy. Um, you know, this, I mean, I can barely put my hands on the steering wheel if I'm against the back seat. That is insane for a Class C. Um, so you just, you get a little more room in the cab, which is really nice. Um, if this were the competitor's chassis, um, there would definitely be a couple of inches less. Uh, and, and of course there's, you know, tilt uh, steering and, and stuff like that and all the modern gauges. And I already mentioned the automatic headlights and you got cruise control and, and uh, you know, temperature control and a fancy radio and, and all that good stuff. Um, you know, you'll have a 12 volt socket outlet up here. You'll have a 110 power up at the dash um, and then another 12 volt socket on the passenger side uh, another thing that they did really well is they they left the little storage bin up in front here um, you know you keep whatever um, if it were me there there would probably be uh, wrappers from some fast food joint that i stopped along the way in there uh, keep keep it out of my way uh, another little thing that they do that, that uh, it seems kind of silly, but there's a little scoop out on the sides of these cup holders. And the reason why they do that is because a, a standard coffee mug, you can put it in there, but sometimes, you know, the handle that you hold will hit and it won't sit in here right and it'll wobble around. That's why they put the little scoop out there. Um, I just think that that's kind of neat, but I'm a little weird, um, which, which is fine. I get it. Um, okay. So let me get back out of this. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, high quality cloth, very thick vinyl. Um, you have the big uh, L-shaped dinette here. Um, got a little extra cushion here. And you, you know, what, what the heck is that for? It doesn't fit on the table to make a bed. Well, no, that's not the cushion to make the bed, although it does. You can actually turn this into a U-shaped dinette. They call it a J dinette. I guess that would be the right name for it, right? Even though you can make a, a U out of it. Um, so on this side, you can't get a drawer because they can give you an extra seat. There is a drawer on the permanent side, um, which is nice. Uh, these cabinets, um, and I believe they call this Appalachia wood. Appalachia, this is something with Appalachia. Anyway, um, if it looks like glass, it actually is. Uh, these are real uh, hardwood drawer fronts and, and cabinet fronts. They actually did it the right way. They put struts uh, on the cabinets that open up so you're not trying to hold it with your head while you're uh, trying to get stuff out of there, uh, which I really like. Uh, lots of headspace. This, this is a full-size unit, even though it is a, a shorter unit. Um, you know, this is their 22. I think with the front and back bumpers, you're right around 24 feet or just under or something like that. But th this is fairly small for a Class C. Um, love the power tower. Pull this up, right? So you get some, some plugs and some more USB power outlets, and they're out of the way when you don't need them. Huge farmhouse stainless sink. Anywhere they can put more storage, they did. Um, you know, so you got a couple of extra drawers in here. They could have just made this a cabinet and it still would have been cool, but they, they put the drawers in there, which is certainly nice. And of course you got your, your, your kitchen cabinets. Um, these all have magnets on them. 
which I, I actually like better than the little fingers because the little fingers can get bent and they wear out over the time and, and sometimes you don't push them all the way in and they fall open. But a magnet, you know that's closed. You know, um, and it will work like that forever. There's, there's no moving parts. Uh, so really like that. Like most of these units nowadays, uh, they don't have the teeny tiny, like four inches of space um, RV oven in here. Uh, but instead of just taking it out, um, they gave you a couple of huge drawers. You know, people are always wondering where am I gonna put some pots and pans and stuff with all these tiny drawers. Um, so that's certainly nice. Full size three burner stove. Right, so full-size stove, full-size sink, a little bit of extra counter space, uh, very nice. And then you get your, your typical RV microwave, a little bit of storage above. On the other side, you will get a huge cabinet, uh, and obviously it has the hanging bar in it, so this is where you put some of your clothing when you're, when you're on the road, and then a big drawer underneath it uh, to put some more stuff. Man, all these magnets, I really love magnets. I should have been a magnet salesman. What do you think? You think that would have worked? I think so. Um, 12 volt fridge made by GE. So high quality fridge. Um, it is running on 12 volts. Um, so this will get cold quickly. It will stay cold. Um, you know, things like your chocolate ice cream melting in an RV fridge, that, that's not gonna happen in something like this. Um, they work really well. Another drawer below it. And then we're gonna look, look at one more thing and then, then the cool interior thing, right? So I'll let you go past me there. Good looking bathroom, extra storage, huge mirror. A lot of times they'll give you like a little like 10 inch tall mirror. Um, extra power outlets, Real metal fixture on the sink. Same thing out here. The sink is, is uh, you know, real metal fixtures. Okay, everybody's seen a bathroom before. Now let's, let's look at the cool thing in this unit, right? So you, you see a couple cabinets up on the wall here and that's your thermostat, some light switches and stuff. But what do you do when you take your gear out of here, uh, right? How, how are you gonna sleep? So this, this actually has a, uh, a Murphy bed. So there's a little leg that, that locks into place. Um, and then there's a couple of little, th Ooh, that one was already open. Uh, there's a couple little latches, one on, on either side to hold it up against the wall. And then, voila, you can just let that down and you get a huge bed. They cut off the corner a little bit so that you can get the bathroom door open, um, but, I don't know about you guys, this is freaking cool. Um, love this. Um, it also reveals that you have another huge window in here. Openable, all the windows you can open in this unit. So storage, room, easily bring big things with you, right? Scooters, multiple bikes, um, wheelchair accessible. Um, you have tie downs. If, if you don't need that back door, well, guess what? You just got a huge storage bin underneath the bed, right? Because it's all hollow underneath there now. Um, and you even have tie downs, right? So you can, you can slide a couple of those bins. Like my, my wife gets them all the time from Target. She'll come home with like 14 bins. And I, what are we gonna put in these? I don't know yet, but they were on sale. Okay, great. Um, you know, you, you can slide like eight or 10 of them underneath that bed. So just, just fantastic. Um, again, Coachman, Freelander, 22XG. Um, it's in our indoor climate co controlled showroom. I'd love to talk to you more about it or any of our Class C units here. We, we have them from, from 22s all the way up to, to 31s and, and everything in between. Uh, again, Wes Griffith, Collier RV Rockford. Give us a call. Thanks.